students that come to Highline uh, come from all walks of life um, and have individual stories and backgrounds and histories. And the foundation here is a resource. We're here to make sure that you feel supported, successful, and that you have everything that you need to be able to graduate. Our students, um, are, they're struggling. Our students struggling, you know, across our campus, across the country. Uh, many of them are going to school and working and trying to achieve their career goals while also trying to achieve their academic goals, while raising families, while working their second or third jobs, and also trying to figure out what their next step in their lives are. It's really important for us to recognize that students are going through so much and sacrificing so much to be here with us every day that we really have to show up for them as much as they are showing up for us. You know, they're whole people, they're coming from families and communities. They're not just a student in a classroom getting a grade. The foundation is literally the soul of the campus and for students. Back in spring quarter, I was, you know, diagnosed with COVID-19 and I failed a course. From there, there wasn't any sustainable solution in moving forward. The best help I got was from the foundation in applying for that same course, retaking it, but instead the foundation paid for it. Everybody's vulnerable, right? That was just my story and that was just me. Imagine the rest of 17,000 students, right? Every student has a story. That story has, you know, so many dark parts to it. It's like you're in a tunnel, but then you see some sort of sparking light, right? And that's the foundation. Especially during the pandemic, our students have faced so many challenges. Uh, they have expenses that come up. It may be transportation related, childcare, uh, issues at home, uh, even just covering the cost of internet so that they can be online and doing their classes. So our emergency support fund will help fill those gaps, to help pay those bills so the student can log on to class the next day, stay enrolled, complete that class, get to the end of the quarter, and earn their degree. When I came back to Washington, I didn't have a place to go. So I was crashing on couches with friends um, and sleeping in my car and doing homework in my car. Uh, about six years ago, I had a traumatic brain injury. You have to learn a lot of basic functions from kind of square one. Being at Highline, I've been able to be a part of the president's honor roll, to be um, a member of Phi Theta Kappa, to be an Arcturus editor, to interview the president of Highline. So it's allowed me to accomplish things I never thought possible, especially with a traumatic brain injury. Like, it took me four years to learn how to read again, and I used poetry to learn how to read. I have the wonderful opportunity every day of talking with students, and they're talking about what they're struggling with. If it's financial, food, housing security, and they talk about, oh, I wish I could apply for scholarships. I wish there was an opportunity that, you know, I could apply for different types of aid. And it's wonderful for me then to be able to say, well, have you thought about this? Or directing them to the website or having a conversation about the different options that are available to them. And then to see them apply. And actually, I've seen it when they've received those scholarships or they received that assistance. And I've been able to give them their degree when they walked across the stage. So it's a tremendous feeling to know that we have resources um, and people dedicated to help students at all times. You're making an impact on each student's success story. You as a donor could come in and make that difference and fill in that space with hope you know, hope that they could use for strength in the future, right? It's given me a chance to both find my stability, my grounding, and also kind of rediscover my voice and have a passion in life and an opportunity that I wouldn't have had otherwise. When one person is able to complete their college degree, it really impacts their whole family. They've now set a path for the younger generations and for people in their community to really know what's possible. When you support a student, you're supporting their, a, a pathway for their career. You're helping you know, future leaders, you know, future managers, future astronauts. Regardless of whether your interest is in helping to solve hunger or um, help a student be able to afford 
going to class, or if you have an interest in helping students with intellectual disabilities like me, there is a place for you at Highline.